All right, um, this video is about partitioning a segment, and you'll have problems that look like this example here. It says the endpoints of segment AB are at 2 and 8. You want to find the coordinate of the point P that partitions the segment in the ratio 2 to 1. So basically, you'll have a number line, and you'll have some points on the number line. So this one is at 2. That's our point A. And you'll have a point B, and that one's at 8. And you want to find some point P. All right, so that the distance from here to here is twice as long as the distance from P to B. Okay, so um, basically what this is, is this is a division problem. You want to look at dividing up the distance from A to B into equal parts. So uh, the way I look at this picture is I have some point A, right, and I know that this part, well, all three of these pieces are equal. Okay, here's my point P, and I have this point over here that's B. Okay, now all of these are equal pieces, it's just there's two parts to one part. Okay, that'll be important, important here in just a minute. So I have my value at 2 and my value, my A's at 2 and my B's at 8. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we want to find the distance from B to A. Okay, so this is the absolute value of B minus A. That's the first thing we're going to do. All right, so what I do is I take my points, my 8 minus my 2, and I want the absolute value of that. So I'm going to subtract that. 8 minus 2, that gives me 6. Okay, the reason we use the absolute value is because distance is always positive. So if this were to come out, if I were to subtract this and it comes out negative, then basically what happens is I drop the negative sign and I make it positive. Okay. So first we want to find the overall distance, then, so that tells me the distance from here to there, the overall distance is 6. Okay, but now we got to partition this 6. So what we need to do next is I want to take my ratio, and I want to add the two parts. So I want to take my, okay, I'm going to take my ratio of 2 to 1, and I want to add those two together. So it's going to be 2 plus 1 which gives me three. Okay, so that tells me that I have three total parts, which is, I mean, you can see that by looking at, just looking at the picture. But you want to add the ratio to get how many pieces you need in all. Okay, now once we have that, the next step is to divide. All right, I want to divide my six divided by the total pieces or the total partition, partitions, which is three. And so that tells me that each partition has a value of 2. So what I'm doing is I'm adding 2 for each distance. Each of these smaller partitions is plus 2. Okay. So then I want to add again. I'm going to take my 2, my original value of 2, my point A, and I want to add these two partitions or these two pieces. So it's going to be plus 2, plus 2 because they're two parts, okay? Now, when I add those, that gives me 2 plus 2 plus 2 would be 6, okay? So that tells me that my point P is going to be at 6, okay? So this would have a value of 6. All right, so here's now another example for us to look at. Uh, the endpoints of segment AB this time are at negative 8 and 4. We want to find the coordinate of point P that partitions the segment in a 3 to 1 ratio. All right, so I have my point A, and that's at negative 8. So I want to go three equal distances to the right. That's going to take me from my A to my point P. Okay, but then it's a 3 to 1 ratio, so I've got three on this side, and I've got one on this other side to get to B, and that's going to be at 4. All right. So, first thing we have to do remember is we want the absolute value of the two coordinates. So that's going to be 4 minus a negative 8. Right. We want the absolute value of that. Again, we want to force it to be positive. So this becomes uh, 4 plus 8, okay. which is going to give me an absolute value of 12. So that means my distance, my overall distance is 12, okay? 
Now I want to add my ratio, since it's a 3 to 1, that means 3 plus 1, which is 4. So I've got 4 parts. So now we're going to divide 12 divided by 4, which gives me a value of 3. Now remember, this 3 means that I'm adding 3 for each piece. Okay, so I want to take my point A, which is negative 8, and I want to add these three parts. So it's going to be plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. Okay, that's going to tell me where P is at. So if I add these, that's going to tell me negative 8 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is going to be at 1. So this tells me that P is at 1.